Now we're just going to go through a few more exam examples of calculating volume of solids of revolution using cylindrical shell. So let's say that we want to find the volume of the solid of revolution obtained by revolving the plane region bounded by y equal 2x squared minus x cubed and y equals 0 about the line x equals 0, in other words about the y-axis. So as usual, the first thing we need to do is sketch this plane region. So here is the graph of the function 2x squared minus x cubed. And therefore, the region bounded by this graph and the x-axis y equals 0 is this region here. And we're going to revolve this region about the y-axis. Now, because um, the curve to x squared minus x cubed intersects the x-axis only at 0 and at 2, uh, the interval of x values that we're going to consider is for x from 0 to 2. So, if we're going to use cylindrical shells, we look at the section by x equal constant, so we take the uh, line segment lying in that region we are rotating above a fixed x, and we rotate this line segment about the axis of revolution, and obtain a cylinder like that. And what we need to know about that cylinder in order to apply our formula is its radius and its height. The radius here is a distance from the y-axis to x equal constant, so it's from x equals 0 to x equal x, so this distance is simply x. For the height, you see that for this particular, he particular x, the uh, corresponding height is the value of the function at that x, in other words, 2x squared minus x cubed. And therefore, applying our formula for the volume of a solid of revolution by cylindrical shell, we get 2 pi integral from 0 to 2, because x ranges from 0 to 2 for that red region. Integral of the height, 2x squared minus x cubed, multiplied by the radius, x. So multiplying things through, we get the 2, two pi integral from 0 to 2 of 2x cubed minus x to the fourth. An antiderivative is x to the fourth over 2 minus x to the fifth over 5. We evaluate that between 0 and 2. Plugging 2 in, uh, we get 8 minus 32 fifths. In other words, 40 fifths minus 32 fifths, 8 fifths. That we multiply by 2 pi. And that gives us a volume of 16 pi over 5. Turning to the next example, we now want to find the volume of the solid of revolution that is obtained by revolving the plane region bounded by y equal x minus x square and y equal 0, but the line x equal 2. So a similar problem, we're looking at the area under the graph of a certain function and we rotate it about a vertical line, but it's no longer the y-axis, it is the line x equal 2. So as usual, we start with a sketch. Here you have the graph of um, x minus x square. Of course, x minus x square is 0 if x is 0 or x is 1, just factoring x out. And so this region that is bounded by y equal x minus x square and y equal 0 um, is the region that we're going to rotate about the vertical line x equal 2 and the interval of x values that we are going to consider is between 0 and 1. So if we're going to use cylindrical shells for any x between 0 and 1 we're going to look at the corresponding line segment for x equal constant in the region we rotate and we're going to rotate this line segment about the axis of revolution x equal 2, generating a cylindrical shell of that sort. And to apply our formula, what we need to know about that 
cylinder is its height. Well, in this case, the height is not a problem. You see that for this particular x, the height is going to be the value of the function x minus x squared at x. And we need to know its radius. The radius, we have to be a little bit more careful. So we want to find that length. Note that this length here is 2 because this is the distance between x equals 0 and x equals 2. And this distance here, of course, is x. Therefore, the radius here is 2 minus x. Plugging that in our formula, we find that the volume is 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 1 because the interval of x values for the red area is from 0 to 1 of the height x minus x squared multiplied by the radius 2 minus x. Multiplying things through, what we obtain under the integral sign is 2x minus 2x squared minus x squared plus x cubed. And if we simplify that, we get simply the integral of x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x be between 0 and 1. And we have to multiply that by 2 pi. An entire derivative is easy to obtain. It's x to the fourth over 4 minus x cubed plus x squared. We have to evaluate that between 0 and 1. The value at 0 is going to be 0, and at 1 we get 1 fourth minus 1 plus 1, so simply 1 fourth. That we multiply by 2 pi, so we obtain pi over 2. Moving on to the next example. Now we want to find the volume of the solid of revolution obtained by revolving the plane region bounded by y equal x and y equal x square about the line x equals 0. As usual, we start with a sketch of the region to be revolved. So here are the curves y equal x square and y equal x, and you see that the region bounded by these two curves is this one here in red and we want to rotate it about the y-axis, x equals 0. Because x squared equals x, if x equals 0 or x equals 1, that means that the interval of x values that we're going to consider is for x varying from 0 to 1. Now for x between these two values, 0 and 1, we look at the line segment in the region to be rotated that lies above x and we're going to rotate it about um, the y-axis generating a cylindrical shell. Again what we want to know about that cylindrical shell it is its height and radius. The radius here is clearly just x because the distance from x equals 0 to x equals x is simply x the height here, since we no longer have the area under the graph of a given function, but rather an area between two functions, between two graphs, uh, we cannot just take the value of the function at x. However, you see that this length here is simply the difference in y values between the y value along the curve on top and the y value along the curve at the bottom. In other words, here it's x minus x squared. So this is our height. We can plug that in our formula now. We get 2 pi integral from 0 to 1, because this is the interval of x values, of the height x minus x squared multiplied by the radius x. Multiplying things through, we get the integral of x squared minus x cubed. An entire derivative for this function is x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over 4. We evaluate that between 0 and 1. At 0 we get 0. At 1 we get 1 third minus 1 fourth. 1 third is 4 twelfths. 1 fourth is 3 twelfths. So we get 1 twelfths for the value of the entire derivative. And we multiply that by 2 pi. So we get pi over 6. One last example for this video. We are looking at the volume of the solid of revolution obtained by revolving the plane region bounded by y equal 4x minus x square and y equal 8x minus 2x square and we want the rotation to be about the line x equal negative 2. As usual, we start with a sketch 
of the region to be revolved. So here are our two curves y equal 8x minus 2x square and 4x minus x square. And the region bounded by these two curves is here in red. And we're going to rotate it about x equal negative 2. So for an x between 0 and 4, we're going to see that um, indeed these two functions are equal at x equals 0 and at x equals 4. But for an x in the proper range, uh, we look at the line segment that lies in the region to be rotated and above x and we rotate it about our axis of revolution generating a cylindrical shell for which we want to know the radius and the height. The radius here since we are not rotating about the y-axis it's not going to be simply x but you see that the distance here is 2 it's a distance between the line x equal negative 2 and the line x equal 0 and then we have to add the distance x from the y-axis to x equal x. So the radius is 2 plus x. On the other end, the height here is going to be the difference of the y-value along the uh, curve on top minus the y-value along the curve at the bottom. So it is 8x minus 2x squared minus 4x minus x squared. And so that gives us 4x minus x squared for the height. And as I mentioned before, the two curves are equal when 4x minus x squared is 0, in other words, where x is 0 or x equals 4. So that means that our volume is 2 pi integral from 0 to 4, because this is the interval uh, of x values for this region integral of the height 4x minus x squared multiplied by the radius 2 plus x. To calculate that, we multiply things through. We get 8x minus 2x squared plus 4x squared minus x cubed. Simplify, and we end up with 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 4 of negative x cubed plus 2x squared plus 8x. We use the fundamental theorem of calculus to calculate this integral. Just find an antiderivative, which in this case is negative x to the fourth over 4, plus 2 third x cubed, plus 4 x squared. That we evaluate between 0 and 4. The value at 0 is 0. The value at 4, we get negative 4 to the fourth over 4, that's negative 4 cubed, plus 2 third of 4 cubed, plus 4 cubed. So the only term that doesn't cancel out is 2 third of 4 cubed. That's 128 third. We multiply that by 2 pi and we get 256 pi over 3. Now we will have a few more examples in the next video where we use both methods.